A fire causes significant damage to the Organic Valley headquarters in Lafarge today. However, all 500 employees are accounted for. Firefighters from several departments across Vernon County have been fighting that fire since late this afternoon, and they're still on the scene tonight. News 8's Pauline Lee was there and now has the latest. We still don't know what the cause of the fire is, but now all employees can do is wait to see what is salvageable and try and plan on how to rebuild. It was a reaction employees trained for at Organic Valley in Lafarge. Fire alarm probably went off around uh, 4.30 and everyone was probably out of the building within three or four minutes. The co-op's executive marketing director, Louis Goldstein, was in the building at the time. He thought it was just a drill. And then uh, there was the smell of smoke. When we arrived, there was uh, fire involvement on the west end of the building. Crews throughout Vernon County and Richland Center fought to get the fire under control. But solar panels on the roof and thick windows made things difficult. The wind didn't help either. It's just been blowing the fire uh, toward the unburned portion of the building. Christopher Dahl's office is on the west end of the building. Where the ladder is up there at the building right now, um, I'm not on the top floor, but the uh, main floor directly below it. He already left work before the fire started. I called my boss, uh, Todd Ernesty, who was still here at work, and um, he said it's not good, Chris. Several hours later, flames still burned and employees and their families continued to watch as hope in saving the west end of the building fades. I'm probably not going to have an office to go to tomorrow and now just hoping that the rest of the addition uh, or the office um, is salvageable. And now Organic Valley's marketing director says employees will not report here for work tomorrow. However, by tomorrow, internet sites, internal internet sites should be up and running and that is where employees should go to find out what are the next steps. Reporting in Lafarge, Pauline Lee, News 8. Now the building damaged in the fire didn't house any equipment or product, only employee offices. About two-thirds of that building is said to be badly damaged. And the Lafarge fire chief does not expect to know the cause until tomorrow at the earliest.